living. If this is your first time watching one of my videos, welcome to my channel. My name is Helen and I am a Komari Master Consultant and a trained professional organizer. Today's video is all about my favorite ways to reduce visual clutter using some of my favorite IKEA products. This video is not sponsored by IKEA in any way, I am simply a fan. As a professional organizer, I often shop for products for my clients and IKEA is often my first stop. I really appreciate that they are available worldwide and the price point is fairly accessible to most people. I like their minimalistic aesthetic and most importantly, I find that the quality for their items, especially the ones that I'm recommending, are great. And for the purpose of this video, I do like the fact that IKEA has stores worldwide because I know not every viewer of this video is going to be where I am, which is Canada. Before we get started, I do want to add in a disclaimer that if your goal is to reduce clutter and visual clutter in your home, then adding more organizing products or furniture in your home is definitely not the answer. The most important step in reducing clutter and visual clutter in your home is to go through everything you have and choose to keep only what brings you joy, only the items that are there to support you to live your ideal life. I find that a lot of the times, and myself included before I went through my simplifying journey, that it's easier to buy more products and more storage items when we run out of space. However, in my own simplifying journey, I learned that it wasn't until I only have what really sparked joy for me and I was able to let go of some of the furniture and organizing items that I didn't need because I didn't have as many things to store anymore that my home started to feel different and less cluttered. And also, when you have less, it's just much easier to get organized. So let's get started. The first way I like to reduce visual clutter is using the white Variera boxes from IKEA. This is definitely one of my favorite products from IKEA and I feel like I probably have recommended them to most clients that I worked with. So there are two sizes for this product. In my own home, I use them both. The larger one, I use them in my pantry. I have things like sauces and oil, vinegar, snacks, and things like that. And in my linen closet, I use them to hold my cleaning products. My favorite thing about them is that they're very sturdy and they're very durable and strong. I've had mine for years and they haven't warped or changed color in any way. I also like that because it's in a box, so everything is contained and the, the wall of the box almost hides some of the labels and packaging that you might otherwise see, which reduces a lot of visual clutter. I also like that the outside of the box is smooth, which means if it gets dirty, you can clean it very easily. And if you wanted to add labels, you can do that easily as well. Or you can just leave it plain if you prefer the more minimalistic aesthetic. The smaller size one, I tend to use them inside cabinets. So in my kitchen, I have some to hold my loose spices and baking supplies and things like that. And I also use them to hold my medication and I know in my husband's bathroom, he has them for his toiletries and my son has one for his toiletries as well. The second way I like to reduce visual clutter is using the scub boxes. So these are the larger boxes that comes in a set of three and it has a handle on the front and you can also unzip it to store it flat if you need to. The handle for these boxes are great because when I use them in place like my linen closet, I use them on my shelf to store towels and bedding and things like that. So I'm able to kind of pull out this box almost like a drawer using the handle. And I also use them in my front closet. I have two of them there, one for winter accessories and one for vacuum parts, just because I also keep my vacuum in the front closet. When my son was a baby, he had two of these as his toy box. And now that his toys are changing, we no longer use them as toy boxes. But I do find that these bins are really versatile and you can use them in many different areas in your home. The key is to not have too many of them. I've seen people having like shelves where every compartment is a bin. I just find that when you have too many of them, it becomes really confusing and you can't remember which one is in which. The third way I like to reduce visual clutter is using magazine files. IKEA has a few different options. My two favorite ones are called Tijana and Caveso. And of course I know 
I'm not saying these names correctly, so please just bear with me. I like them because they both have a minimalistic aesthetic, which is great for reducing visual clutter, and they're also great options to use as your pending box, which in Komari vocab means they're paper that you still have an action attached to it, like a bill you need to pay, or an application you still need to submit, and things like that. For kids, magazine files can be a great way to hold the paper that they need from school temporarily, and so it would be all in one spot rather than all over the place in the house or all over the fridge, which creates a lot of visual clutter. I also use this to hold my printer paper beside my printer as it uses more vertical space rather than horizontal and it can just stand upright right beside my printer. The fourth way I like to reduce visual clutter is using uniform food storage containers, and IKEA has a wide variety of them. When we bring a lot of different types of food into our home, there are a lot of different packages and colors and brands and sizes and things like that. So that does create a lot of visual clutter. By using uniform containers, you can reduce a lot of that, but I don't recommend decanting every single item. Personally, I only use storage containers for things that I know I'll use regularly, like rice, flour, sugar, and such. If it's not an item that you use up frequently, I wouldn't recommend decanting it because then you wouldn't know the expiry date. If it's not an item that you use really frequently or goes through frequently, I wouldn't recommend changing the container because it's not really worth the effort and you might end up just with a lot of expired product in your jar and not knowing about it. I find that the storage containers are also great when we are able to shop without packaging at bulk stores or if you buy a large format of something and then you can pour a more usable amount in into a smaller container. When it comes to material, my personal preference is glass containers, but honestly, I think you have to choose the ones that work best for you because glass is heavier and some people just don't have the strength. And also with little kids, you might not wanna have so much glass containers as it could be dangerous. So really, I don't think there is one material or one container that is the best and can work for everyone, you really do have to take the time to think about what your needs are before choosing something. The last way I like to reduce visual clutter in a home is to put away all the shoes. I know that is sometimes easier said than done, but I do want to feature one of my favorite products from Ikea, which is also the most expensive one in this group, and they are the shoe cabinets. In many homes, when you first enter the home, you see a pile of shoes on the ground and it's just really cluttered and not everyone has the space for a mudroom or a large entranceway. In my own home, I live in an inner city condo with my family, so we definitely don't have anything like a mudroom or an entrance. We have two units of the stall shoe cabinets installed by our front door and it uses up space along the wall that we can't really use for anything else. It uses mostly the vertical space and doesn't take up a lot of footprint, which I really like about it. That being said, I know that my family is pretty minimalistic when it comes to shoes. Between the three of us, we share two of these shoe cabinets and we're able to hold all of our year-round shoes in them. If you need more storage space, they do have ones that are a little bit taller or twice as deep so you can store double the amount of shoes. Having these cabinets in our home really reduces the visual clutter when you walk into our home, especially when you can keep the top clear as well. So those are five of my favorite ways to reduce visual clutter. And once again, I can't say this enough, but as a professional organizer, I just have to remind you that adding more product is not going to help you reduce clutter or visual clutter. When your goal is to simplify your space and to reduce the amount of clutter you have, you really do need to take the time to go through everything and choose to keep only what sparks joy for you. I know that it's a lot of time and sometimes we don't always feel like we have the time, but I can guarantee you that it's absolutely worth it. I went through this process many years ago. It took us two weeks, but I'm still benefiting today from the work I put in those many years ago. And if you haven't seen that video, I will link that video below where I share my journey going from an overwhelmed mom to a Komari master consultant. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you liked it, please subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up. And if you have any other suggestions on videos or topic you would like to see videos on, please let me know in the comments. Until next time, choose joy, live well.